Good morning, everyone. Today is February the 7th, 2022. This is a gentle rebuke video um, to someone who has been trolling my channel for multiple years and I never really exposed the person because I just feel like I have not counted this person out um, to be a brother in Christ. And if this video benefits anyone who will find themselves in this particular situation right here that I'm about to talk about, I'm not even counting you out as a sister in Christ because there are those brothers and sisters who are only walking in error. And this particular group of brothers and sisters who are walking in this type of error, we're really, as children of God, we are not supposed to allow them in our company. So there are several people who can actually benefit from this video. That is those who allow this type of company to follow them, um, to give them advice and etc. We as the children of God, we are not, let me tell you, let me say it like this right here. I did not say this from my own heart. This is what the Bible says. This particular type of group of people that I'm about to expose on today, especially one in particular, we are not supposed to allow that individual or these individuals to be in our company. So that's why a lot of times when I'm exposing people, and they try to leave a trail of their comments on my channel. If I can find those comments from this particular group of people, I always delete the comments. Because we are not, listen to me, we are not supposed to be even caught with this type of company in our presence as followers of Jesus Christ. We are not supposed to do that. So I want to go ahead and just say this. Faith Cannon has been trolling my channel for at least, at least, I want to say at least 10 years. There was a time that Faith Cannon was he was actually subscribed to this channel over here, but he went by another name called Laser. Laser, I want to say it is, L-A-Z-E-R, Laser Cannon. Back then, he's changed his name from Laser Cannon to Faith Cannon. He was subscribed to this channel, and I'll never forget it. He used to always make comments on my channel until he admitted of living the gay life, okay? It was at that time, I can't remember every word, word from word, but I did let him know one day that his walk, it was not good in the sight of God, the walk of homosexuality. And ever since then, this faith canon now, you know, that used to be laser canon, he used to also follow another channel called Rachel Loves the Lord. And he would, oh, oh my goodness, he, he would always be on Rachel's channel defending her um, when someone tried to correct her. He was always there. Now he is still doing this years later. Years later, he don't really upload any videos on his channel. He has some very old videos on his channel. Look like he haven't uploaded maybe in a couple of years or whatever, but he's not actually giving the word of God over there presently on his channel. He's not trying to lead people to Jesus Christ. However, he is still uptight with me holding a personal vendetta because I advised him to seek Jesus because his walk in homosexuality is not Christ-like. So he is still holding a vendetta against me. And I want to put out this disclaimer that this video now, please listen up, everyone, because some people love to put words in their very own heart to lie against this channel. 
This video against this individual has nothing to do with the other individual who has been having problems with my channel. Because if you guys realize, I did upload a video not long ago. Um, it has the picture of a dove or a bird or something with an olive branch in its mouth. Um, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to get everyone to see who is trying to at least extend a little peace with that issue, if you know what I'm talking about. So no, I'm not going against anybody's personal friends. No, I am not. I am only defending myself because this person on last night, February the 6th, had some words for me on another channel that had nothing to do with this individual right here, Faith Cannon. One thing that the Lord has shown me, it's been a while now, that Faith Cannon, you are a busybody. You are considered a busybody in the body of Christ. You understand, ma'am? You are a busybody. And I say ma'am because you're still struggling and still dealing with that same issue that you're uptight with me about for correcting you. It is not it is not my words that say that your lifestyle is wrong. It is the word of God. And so every time my channel is having any issues with any other channel, you'll basically find Faith Cannon somewhere confirming whatever the people are saying about this channel, you know, in their defense, you're going to always find this particular um, gay busybody. So I want to give us all a um, passage of scripture that we can all benefit in, men and women. If you find yourself in this situation doing this thing that's called a busybody, I'm here to tell you that you are in error. And to make it all um, come together, when Faith Cannon began to uh, make comments concerning me on last night now, on last night, he was in communication with another busybody that I have exposed for being a witch. And I call her busybody because she admits being on all of my videos, you know, reading my comments and doing things like that, you know, because she's uptight that I exposed her uh, for being the witch that she is. She's a narcissistic Jezebel. They, they all the same. It's all the same. They're all in the same pot. However, we're talking about one thing that we're dealing with on today, and that is how bad it is if you find yourself, if you claim that you are in the body of Christ, you're claiming it at least, that you follow Jesus, and if you're a busybody, you could end up in hell if you are a busybody, and it's worse on those who are actually, you know, maybe given the word of God from time to time, but you have these busybodies on your channel. They have words. They have freedom of speech. They are not supposed to be in your company. Let me give you the word coming out of 2 Thessalonians, beginning at um, verse 11, and here we go. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Now, right here, this word is being spoken to those of you, um, if you are content creators in this case, we're talking about this case, okay? In this case right here, if you're a content creator, this word begins speaking to you if you are teaching anything about the word of God. This right here, it begins right here. Listen to Paul. Listen to this. I want to say this is Paul. Listen to this. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. So again, in this case, I'm talking about Faith Cannon. He's not working at all. He haven't uploaded any type of videos in such a long time. So it reads, I'm going to say it really quick this time because I've already read it twice, but i got to say it again. Listen real close. For we hear 
that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now, them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness, they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man, in this case we're talking about any man or woman, but the word of God says, and if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no com company with him that he may be ashamed. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. So it goes bo both, word, both ways. If the busybody is in your company and you are putting up with that busybody, anybody, this is for anybody, if you're putting up with that busybody in your company, then both of you are being disorderly and we are not to have company with you. This is what the Bible says. So my question to Faith Cannon, and the answer is still no, it is wrong for you to be walking, trying to be feminine like a woman. It is not allowed in the body of Christ. You can't do it. My question to you, um, being that you still have that vendetta, why is it that every time someone uploads a video in defense, you know, against my channel, that you always there with your confirmations? Or you can't make this stuff up and just being a busybody. Just being, and another word that you can say for being a busybody is just being nosy. You're always in somebody else's business. The Bible says that you're not even working. You're not even working yourself. You are too busy in other people's business. My biggest question to you is why is it that last night, last night, here it is, three women having a conversation. One in disagreement, but here comes Faith Cannon. You're supposed to be a man. Now you was born a man. You're supposed to be a man, but here it is. You come poking your long, poking no, poking however you say it, nose in the business of three women at night in the middle of their argument. Why are you in the middle of three women's arguments, Faith Cannon? Why? 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 Why come every time somebody upload a video about me, I can always find you? Why is it that uh, when somebody make um, videos, and like I said, I'm not going to try to put another channel in this, and y'all know who I'm talking about, um, this particular other man's channel or anything, but why are you always trying to take up for these men? It's just like with the other guy, Mark, that I had exposed. You were over there dealing with me. You mean to tell me that men can't handle their business themselves? They need you in the middle acting like a little girl? A woman, every time you turn around, you're trying to defend those men. They can't defend themselves, Faith Cannon. They can't. They need you, the girly man, to go around and be the strong one for them. They can't do it themselves, Laser Cannon. You are a busybody. You had no business coming in last night, getting your butt, sticking your nose, sticking your behind in the conversation of three grown women. Was it no man in the conversation, but here you come, ma'am. You wanna, you wanna be the ringleader in the middle, the middle man. There's only one man in the middle, and that is Jesus Christ. You need to repent. The Bible speaks against you being a busy body. 
That was why I had to put you off this channel because I could no longer have you in the company over here on my channel. Because then I would have been disobedient. So when I put you out and you are still blocked, by the way, I guess the only way you want me to see you um, having conversations with me, I have to look in the comment sections of those who are coming against my channel. So you need to get yourself right. You need to do your own work, the Bible says. You need to eat your own bread. Do your own work. Eat your own words. The Bible says that you're supposed to be quiet. At least you got that part right on your channel. You're not working over there. I can understand it better if you were actually working over there on your channel. You're too busy working on other people's channel. It is defined as being a busybody. Take off that spiritual dress, that spiritual lipstick, that those spiritual earrings, that spiritual wig of yours. Stand up and be a man. You are walking disorderly. You cannot serve two masters. Either you're going to be a man or be a woman. You can't be lukewarm. You're going to either be hot or cold. Not in the middle. Not wishy-washy. So with all of that being said, Faith Cannon, you are not to be company with me. Now you can say and do anything that you want to say and do from now on out. You've been doing this for years. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You should have been healed by now. You was doing the same thing over there on Rachel Loves the Lord channel. The same thing in there arguing with women. Trying to be a woman. You are a man. I don't care how you look at it. You're nothing but a man. You'll always be a man. You'll die as a man. You're never going to be a woman. Now you're walking in error. You either a brother in Christ or you can try to be a sister in Christ, which again, it, it'll never work. You are a man. Stay in your place. And it's almost sad to say uh, you can't even tell the young people today to um, you need to respect your elders. That's gone out the door. That's a laugh right there. You are in error. You are walking in disorder. And you're in the company of those who were supposed to be rebuking you a long time ago. So they are in error for allowing you to even be in their company. So now this is my last video to you. I pray for you as a brother in Christ. I may be marking, marking and avoiding you, but today I'm not going to avoid you any longer without giving you this message and warning you that you are in error. I rebuke that homosexual spirit in you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you being a busybody. This is confirmation. You cannot make this kind of stuff up. You cannot make it up. This is confirmation. The word of God confirms that you are walking in error. You are a busy body, a grown man arguing with women. Peace.